Now, moments after KTN News exclusively highlighted the tale of two identical twins, normal operations at Fulfural Village in Likuyani constituency were momentarily halted as residents debated on emotional reunion of two identical teenage girls who are alleged to have been separated at birth in Kakamega Provincial General Hospital, now Kakamega County Referral Hospital. The left tongues wagging even as the family discovered the th three children share the same blood group. Elvis Kosgay reports. <laughs> The puzzling tale of Melon Lutenyo resident in Likuyani, Kakamega County, and Sharon Mathias resident in Kangemi, Nairobi County, has left tanks wagging in the country after KT News exclusively highlighted the story. <laughs> Even as the two identical girls separated at birth are now battling to know their parents, the family has established that the three children are sharing the same blood group. Bisa, chakuni shangaza, ni meenda kuona krupu pladia watoto, ni krupu plad moja na mimi wote watatu. Ni o positive wote watatu na mimi damu yangu ni o positive. Hiyo ni nafanya ni naisi ya kwamba watoto ni wangu wote na kuna makosa tu ilifanyua pale kwa hospitali wakati waligundui mama kuna watoto tatu hata wakitoa moja hata heza kuelewa. Kwa hivyo mimi ni naomba kavana wakakamega county ya kwamba chukulia hii maneno kwa serious note kuanzia saa hii. The story has drawn mixed reactions at Fafarol Market, Likuyani sub-county. Residents are now pointing an accusing finger at Kakamega County Hospital. Unajua manana kama haya inasutua na matakitari wa Kakamega, wachukulia watua, wachukulia watu wakari. Hata wenye walikuwa wakatio, watu mi na naseme kupanda yangu, kama mwana akineta, wafutwe kasi. Na Kakamega hiyo, waanze kufanya uchungusi wa mama wakienda kusaa, wafanyua uchungusi hiyo kalabati ni kama inaendelea tangu wakati ule. Upara nyawewe saizi ni chairman wa magava na Kakamega County. Jambo hili ni jambo ambalo lineza fanya sifa yetu ya Kakamega irudi chini. Chukua atua, nenda kwa hospitali yetu pale, angalia akikisha kwamba jambo kama hili limefuatiliwa watoto hao wapate haki wazazi pia wapate haki kakamega yetu iende mbele mimi nina imani ndani mwako najua kwamba wewe ni mtu wa kufuatilia maneno usikae kitako chini na ili hali mambo kakamega yanaharibika kwa hivyo ninaomba ya kwamba serikali pia iingie katikati ili tusaidie mambo kama haya yasiwe yakitokea na watu wasiwe wakitafutana katika miaka mingi chinzi vile wametafutana hivi however benson masharia pathologist at moi teaching and referral hospital in eldoret says quite a good number of people may look alike but is not scientifically a reliable method People may look alike, okay, and therefore that is not a scientifically reliable method, okay. However, when you have the other tests, like DNA and then the physical attributes, then this adds more weight. But on its own, it cannot be used. Masharia says DNA tests can be done using two scientific methods. There are some specimens that can be used. Uh, usually, buco, what we call buco mucosa or buco swab, this is where the inner side of the cheek is scrapped and you get some cells from there. Those ones can be used to analyze that. Or the other test uh, can also use um, a blood sample. But if you see these two, the buco swab is easier. Olukaka's family cannot afford the cost of a DNA test and now want the government to take up the matter with haste. Elvis Kosgei, KT News.